not showing up. Take it away, guys. All right, hello everyone. We're back for the start of day two. This is just Kill Two here with Angel Hun once again, and we're looking at Eve Engineering versus Rage Alliance. Rage stepping in for Goon Swarm, who didn't show up, which is not too surprising. On the field, we have for Eve Engineering two Rattlesnakes, one Dominix, one Hurricane, one Drake, one Caracal, one Catalyst, and a Kestrel. And on the field for Rage Alliance, we have a Tengu, Loki, two Dominix, a Scimitar, Hawk, two Jaguars, a Succubus, and an Ishker. So, as we were talking about before, the, the match started, this is pretty difficult for Rage getting called kind of like half an hour before the match ready to start. So, um, they're kind of got everyone's support, I think, being at such a disadvantage. But, um, and especially up against what looks like pretty mean setup from uh, EVE Engineering. It looks like it, but I don't see much of a, I don't see any repping ability as far as, um, Intership support, so this should be pretty interesting. Um, we see again sort of a mix of a drone swarm from the Dominixes uh, already going, already deployed. We're seeing a lot of heavy shield bots being deployed, um, especially with that, that Loki and the Tengu are already moving around the arena, owning the place. Yeah, that's real interesting. Uh, there goes the catalyst for the even engineering side, so Rage drawing first blood, which is pretty awesome. Um, it is weird to see those uh, heavy shield maintenance bots out of the Dominics. That's kind of surprising. I don't know. Maybe they've got some uh, like long-range guns up top, or they're expecting the uh, Tech 3 to do all the damage. What do you think about that? I'm thinking that the Tengu and the Loki do have some potential for damage, and the Succubus is a pretty nasty little ship. Um, I believe when the Ishker gets into range, it should be able to annihilate the Eve Engineering Kestrel, but it looks like the Eve Engineering Hurricane is about to go down. Like, it, once I, uh, like I said, there seems to be no um, repping capability or support between the ships uh, on the Eve Engineering team. And once again, the Kestrel is down. Perfect game so far for Rage. Yeah, coming in and doing a real nice job on the spot so far. Um, Rattlesnakes kind of known for being able to put up a huge tank and a lot of DPS, but so far, for whatever reason, none of that DPS making it through. Um, kind of, you know, it's hard to make uh, big battleships work sometimes in the tournament because little E-War goes a long way. I think you're quite right, and once again, um, another ship has fallen for EVE Engineering, and I'm looking at one of the Dominixes, I am seeing railguns from it, so they do have some damage. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of dampening effects coming from coming from the other team. Um, it looks like EVE Engineering might be completely locked out at this point. Um, the drones from the Ishker are all over the, uh, the EVE Engineering Drake. Yeah, I mean, nothing happening whatsoever. I'm trying to look at uh, one of the rattlesnakes to see exactly what they're doing. They're shooting crews, um, which isn't real surprising. Torps are pretty awesome on them, but it's hard to make torps work because of the range problems. Um, there goes another ship, so just down to the two rattlesnakes and a Dominix now for uh, EVE Engineering, really not looking too good for them, which is uh, pretty crazy. They were not you know, a big name coming in, but obviously they had time to prepare and think about what they're doing, and maybe Rage One did that too, but the chances of getting in on a on a backup like this is pretty uh, low, so good good job, I keep saying it, but it's pretty cool for them to come in as a surprise and do well. Just once is taking advantage of the assault frigates, their small sig radius and their solid speed. Uh, those Jaguars are holding uh, EVE Engineering in place and they're doing a hell of a job. Taking advantage of that Ishker's uh, five light drones, it's no, it's no pansy, it does some pretty solid damage. And the first Rattlesnake is now taking damage for EVE Engineering. There just didn't seem to be much cohesion between the ships picked for this EVE Engineering team. Yeah, right, and we've seen, for the most part in the tournament so far, you really got to have um, uh, d devoted logistics, and I didn't look, maybe uh, one of the dummies is is running, no, you're not even allowed to do that, are you? It's got to be a Tech 3 or logistics ship, so, um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, wrong team. <laughs> they only had the one Dominix on uh, the EVE engineering side, but yeah, I mean, you just got to have some support of some kind, and they really didn't, nothing really it looks disorganized 
It really does, and considering, and this is maybe something I would have, you know, given to Rage as a benefit of the doubt, but Rage is just wiping the field with them. The first rattlesnake for EVE Engineering is going down right now. Um, it's about to break shields, and a lot like a heavy drake, it's once it breaks shields, it should be going down. Um, we're seeing one of the Dominics is, at the moment, uh, taking some heavy shield damage. Um, it's actually out of shields for Control-Q Rage, um, but the, he's pretty much able to rep himself up and sustain his shields with the help of the Scimitar. Uh, I'm not really sure what the Hawk is there for, um, but as far as the rest of the frigates go, they definitely made some interesting decisions. The Jaguars are really nice with a huge number of mid-slots, um, solid tank and good speed, and decent damage, and the Succubus does real good damage, so... I'm glad to see some uh, lesser used ships on the field today. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, there's another one of those matches where I'm not sure how the Rage team would have done against one of the more kind of powerful setups of the tournament, but it's doing fine here, and they're doing a lot of things right. They brought the logistics ship. I think the frigs are great. It's, you know, it's not, it looks like low skill point or low preparation in this case that would lead to kind of such a weird mix, but they all have some things in common. They can all do um, a nice amount of damage addition from decent range. You know, you've got missiles on the Hawk, and you've got um, barrage coming from the Minmatar ships, um, and, uh, they all have plenty of mids, and that's something that can't be underestimated, is, is tacking on a lot of those frigates with um, relatively high number of mid slot slots earns you a bunch of uh, E-War or um, projected ECCM, stuff like that, that can make a big difference. That's definitely true, and the Hawk does have a solid shield tank. Um, not, I, I was looking, looking at this team, I was expecting not a whole lot of damage coming out of uh, the Rage team, but it seems like they're doing quite a good job of, uh, even with the lack of Dominic's um, offensive drones, they seem to be doing a really solid job just working on, um, on the EVE engineering ships. And right now we are looking at the last rattlesnake bleeding structure and going down like a ton of bricks, ready to go. And it looks like a perfect game for Rage, the substitute team with very little preparation time, uh, getting in by the skin of their teeth. Great job. And back to Soundwave. Rage getting in by the skin of their teeth and demolishing everything in their way. What a fantastic showing by a team just uh, just got in. Uh, let's watch one of the favorites, we form Voltron uh, versus Honorable Templum uh, of Alcedonia. Uh, it's right in a few minutes. We're trying to set the matchup now. <laughs> 